Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can SSH into your Raspberry Pi Zero using nothing but a USB to micro USB cable connected to your MacBook. So, uh, first things first, um, it's really easy. I'm going to make it as quick as possible and straightforward. There's a couple other tutorials that have uh, a crucial step that's missing. Um, so, that's what I'm going to show you. So first things first, you need to make sure SSH is um, uh, uh, enabled. <laughs> Sorry. So you use that. You use uh, rasp raspy config, sudo raspy config, raspi config, I should say. And then what you're going to want to go to go go down to is the uh, interfacing options, and you're going to want to select uh, SSH and then you're going to want to select yes and then um, you might need to restart the uh, uh, Raspberry Pi it might not make you though I don't really think you need to, to do this um, if you need to restart SSH you can do sudo uh, service SSH restart that'll restart your SSH so next thing you need to do is you need to um, give uh, Avahi a config file. Now that's going to be in, let's see here, I think we go to etc init d Avahi? No, 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 no. etc Avahi. Let's see. Yeah, we go to services. Sorry about that. So the whole the whole path is etc avahi services, and then we need to make a file. I I already have that file. It's called multiple dot service. What you want to do is sudo nano multiple dot service. Hit enter, and then you're actually going to want to paste in a uh, specific uh, XML string here. You can get it from elinux.org slash rpi uh, underscore advanced underscore setup. It's about three quarters down the page. Um, I'll also put it in the uh, description of the video so that you can just snag it right from there. But we need to put this into the file. So if I didn't have anything in this file, I could just um, right click up here and hit paste, and it would go ahead and paste that in. But since I already have it, I shouldn't need to do that. <clears throat> then once that's done, um, you're going to need to go ahead and whoops, go to your boot. So you need to, uh, oops, sorry, you need to change some files on your boot, uh, boot partition or whatever it's called. I can't remember. Um, the first one is going to be command line.txt. And way back here at the end, I moved my cursor way back here. Um, behind this root weight, you need to put modules dash load equals dwc2 comma g underscore ether for ethernet. Um, make sure it's exactly like that in the file. It's a one line file, so you don't want to do anything on a, on, a, on a new line, and it needs to be behind root weight. So saith the online guide that I read. So, you know, take that for what it is. The next uh, file you need to modify is going to be, I believe it is config.txt. So let's do config.txt. And all the way down at the bottom, if you do control V, you can actually page down really quick. You're going to need to um, add dt overlay equals dwc2 to this file. Hit command x to exit. Um, sorry for anybody who, uh, you know, doesn't use nano as the text editor. You can use whatever text editor you want. I assume that you know how to use those, though. So, um, you know, that is what it is as well. So... Now what you probably want to just do is uh, shut down your uh, Raspberry Pi Zero. Everything should be done and you should be able to uh, go straight into um, 
or sorry, you should be able to just go straight into um, plugging your Raspberry Pi Zero into your computer, if that sentence made any sense. So yeah, after that, once it's all shut, uh, shut down and whatnot, um, the command you want to do for that is probably something like this. That'll shut down your Raspberry Pi Zero, um, unplug it from wherever you have it plugged into, make sure you plug in your USB cable to the uh, USB slot on your Raspberry Pi Zero, and then also plug it in to uh, your MacBook. At that point, I'll exit here, you can SSH into your Raspberry Pi Zero after it's booted up. So it'll probably take like a few minutes, maybe like two minutes or three minutes um, for your Raspberry Pi Zero to boot up. But once that happens, you can um, SSH into it. I changed the host name of my Raspberry Pi to Tiny Pi, but the uh, default is Raspberry Pi uh, dot local. So that's how you SSH into your Raspberry Pi. Like I said, I changed the host name on mine, so mine is actually Tiny Pi. And once I do that, I can enter my password, and you know, Bob's your uncle. So. If you follow those steps, it should work. Um, you know, it's not a guarantee, but those are the steps that worked for me. Uh, where you know the steps and all the other guides I could find online did not work. So, if the video helped you out, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, give it a subscribe, give it a send me money, send me piles and piles of money. So, there you go.